Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm not sure how long we're going to get out of this, but I have a jewelry haul. My name is Brandy. This is Beautiful Eye Bargains, and I got a whole ton of jewelry for $5 on Poshmark plus shipping. So I guess my total was $20. And I'm really excited. I got some really cool pieces in there that I can't wait to share. This being one. So, uh, I am a Canadian reseller on Poshmark. And I also do a lot of sourcing on Poshmark. So, please check out this girl's closet. It will be in the description. I am filming in my room. So, I apologize for the lighting. But uh, let's dig in. Let's start with the bracelets. If I can get in there. Oh, yeah. Okay. We have coming in strong with these little stretcheroos. So these are pretty. Um, but I saw a designer tag somewhere. These are like, um, I guess just like stackable or whatever. I really like this one. I feel like I'm too close to y'all. So yeah, these are pretty cool. The next one, I'm just going to make a snack over here so I don't lose space. So this beauty, it's got some little scratching going on there. It must have been like on with something else no does no um designer and then it opens up like this and these look really nice like the crystals and everything very nice very nice uh, got another little gold bangle Always check for a maker. It's a nice one. Ooh, I like that. I like that. This is beautiful. This is all glass beads, y'all. I have been non-stop cleaning all day. Cleaning, cleaning, cleaning. I'm so over cleaning. <laughs> but... My hands have taken a beating from it. Just being in the water. Yeah. So I apologize for my granny hands. Here's another really cool clamper. A little signature. Oh, I like that one. Really nice. This one here is really cool. Glass beads. Like I said, I love... I'm a sucker for anything with beads on it. Here, put some lotion on. See if that helps. <laughs> Anyways, these are pretty cool. Let's talk about this ring. Like, I was so excited when I saw this in the pictures. Um, but on the inside, we have... It's written out sterling. I haven't seen. I wonder how old this is. Look at that stone. Yeah, I knew this one's going to be staying with me. I wonder if this is an older ring. An antique ring. And there's more. There's more. Oops. Crash and burn. Alright. So there's this beautiful. This one is. Um, it's got a sunflower I guess. And some hematite stones. It looks like there's one missing right there. Which is kind of unnoticeable. But look at that beauty. I want to say it's a size 8. And I did see a 925 in there. Really beautiful ring. Really pretty. Um, 
And then there's this little guy, also 925, stamped in there. A little music note. Tiny little guy. Can't even fit him on there. And then, bam! Hello. Pretty sure these are Onyx and Marcasite as well. And I thought this one had a signature. I thought I saw something there. And then there's this guy. So this is a fashion ring. It's stretchable. Um, but it's really good quality. Ow. Oh, that's really big. Like, really pretty. Another cute little number that one is. This here is uh, all hematite. I really wish this fit me because I would wear this. I would totally wear this. This one's gorgeous. I wonder what this one's going to be valued at. And I think these are little toe rings. I'm going to give these to my kids. But stinking cute. This one here is stamped inside. It's hard to see what it's stamped inside with. Uh. 18 karat gold filled. Oh wow. 18 karat gold filled. So 18 GF. I really like that. I wonder if that's not a, a diamond. Oh, I wish I had a battery in my diamond tester now. Here's another beautiful quality stretcher. Pretty. Very nice, very nice. Y'all, I'm so happy with this this order. Like, I feel like I really lucked out. Because, like, yeah, some of these rings are fashion rings, but some of them aren't. <laughs> and then this beauty is a big, pretty bird. I think this is fashion. Oh. I don't see any signature anywhere. Oh, maybe. Nope. Cool. And this is a little homemade guy. That one's really pretty. Look at this one. I think this might be like a Charmed Aroma one or something because um, it's got a signature on there. Uh, China and then the other side it says uh, N925. But really pretty, pretty blue for September, y'all. This is September's birthstone. Now this one, these are for sure uh, garnet, beautiful ruby red, and um, stamped on the inside as well. Nine two five, y'all. I am so blown away with just this. Um, there you see it with the quality of some of these rings because wow oh here's one more this one here is uh, what does all that say S sorry I'm trying to see 925 and some more. What? Well, look at how pretty this one is. Isn't that fabulous? I wish this one fit me. Ah, uh, my batteries just died. Well, love the rings. Love the rings. We'll be back with more. Just let me plug my phone in. Alright, back in action. We've got some cords under control so y'all these rings were fun got some really cool pieces and I can definitely um, make some money here with this lot 
and these are the lots that do it for you. I watched a video last night from my friend Sandra over at the Funky Pickle, and she had bought a bag of jewelry for $100 US, and there was not a lot to choose from in there. I felt so bad, but you know what? We've all been there. <laughs> Anybody who is in this jewelry community, we have been there. But then you find lots like this, and you get it for 20 bucks, and you find great pieces. So that's the part I love about the hunt on the jewelry. And then here is another set that I found in the bag that um, has been sold for upwards of $80 US. For the one set, for the necklace alone, I've seen this sold for $65 US. So I have no idea about the designer. Um, it is Robert Rose. These are clip-ons. Pretty. From what I can see, like from the comps that I looked this one up, this is how it's supposed to be with the three dangles. These beads are amazing. Mother of Pearl, Gold Tone, and then whatever these little numbers are. This is a really cool set. And I'm mind blown that it was... Uh, sold for $80 US so um, cha-ching yay me <laughs> so yeah this one will be getting listed for sure um, this is the first time I've seen this designer so that's cool but yeah really surprised um, there is like a, there was more jewelry in the listing and then this wasn't a part of the listing but I'm happy with what I got regardless like this this bag turned out to be completely awesome so this one here like look at the beads isn't this gorgeous I thought this was really cute for fall love this multi strand and then this is a pearl choker. I think there might be some beads missing at the end of this guy. But this is vintage as well. Ah, faux pearls. Faux pearls. Well, we still got some more. Like We still got a lot to go through, guys. I'm going to dump out some more here. So, just let's pull this number out. These are amazing. Like, look at the design in these beads. Oh, I never looked at the tag and see if it was sterling or whatever. It kind of looks like, um, oh, what's the name brand? You guys know what I'm talking about. Brighton. Brighton. So these look like the earrings that go with this one and then it looks like you could probably swap them out and use this instead I wonder if this is a Brighton set I'll have to look it up on Google my good old friend Google these are cool like, look how cute that is so this is another little number that I'll be able to resell for sure right like oh, I love it Love it! Alright, and then we got this green number over here. Um, this one, I almost feel like this class has been replaced, but look at the bead. Is this what they call lamp work? It looks like a little fish. Little fish beads. Oh, it's it's uh, damaged. Ah, uh, damn it. <laughs> Excuse my French. I have to edit that out. No cursing on YouTube, Brandy. Please. These are really pretty. They go with it. Oh, my hands are so dirty from being in my garden. I have to do another garden update. My peppers are growing so nicely. There is damage on this one. It could probably hurt if you cut yourself. Yeah, there's an edge on that. That's too bad. And then look at these. These are actual um, crystal beads. 
actually I might wear these. These are like really, really pretty. I feel like they're like peridot or, um, yeah, peridot. Is that what they are? Nice. Very nice. Love those. Love them. And then, darling, here's another little pair. Somebody can really do some good um, wire wrapping. Really, really, really nice. Look how pretty that is. Gorgeous. And then there's these little guys over here. Oh, I think a ball fell off. There's one more. These are so free. Like, how stinking cute are these? Darlings, darlings, darlings. This one here, I think, is um, what I would say like an ear cuff. I'm missing one over here. Like, would you stick that on like your ear or something, right? Little turquoise beads. These look like they're possibly like vintage 1928 kind of style. Really cool. And then we got these little snowflakes. I have a couple brooches that would look really cute with these oh I thought that was a sign love it I love these oh this one's got a little bandy I wonder how I can secure that all right all right all right let's see we got another pair of earrings these are oh <gasps> these are Swartzky look is that the swan? Uh, it sure is. That's that's her. That's that's the swan. Wow. <gasps> These are Swartzky. I love it. Oh my goodness. Right? Like what a score on this bag of jewelry. I have never been so happy. Look at the beads. What is this called? I wonder. This is like a jasper. I think it's like a moss. Moss agate jasper situation. Yes! You guys! This bag of jewelry is everything. Here's another fun little fashion one. Okay. Check this one out. This has... Tiny baby purple beads, all these beautiful glass beads, and then they go into these beautiful onyx beads. I feel like it's a bracelet, but then it's too small for me. <laughs> like it's for a smaller wrist, <clears throat> or I guess a necklace. Either way, gorgeous, 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 beautiful, darlings. And then we got these little seashell earrings. And then last but not least, y'all sit down because this is going to make you a little, oh my God, Brandy. Wait for this. This is absolutely stunning. This is a long chain with absolutely amazing beads. This is some sort of smoky quartz crystals um i'm blown away by these you guys all this is glass the pearls are faux and then there's no class but oh my god i've never been so happy with a jewelry lot as i am with this one uh this one takes the cake i randomly found it seen that she had it listed for five bucks and instantly bought it. I was so happy. 
there is some jewelry actually missing but i don't even care <laughs> because i'm just so happy with all of this um um i'm just yeah i'm just so blown away by the quality of some of these pieces like i gotta put this ring on oh it does fit me look like come on you can't beat this I'm so happy these rings fit me. I'm happy. Anyways, y'all, what was your thoughts on it? Uh, good investment or what? Please like the video and give me a thumbs up. Um, anything um, I'm selling will be available on Poshmark. Uh, but if you're in the U.S., we could um, just reach out to me if you see anything you like. And we'll make it work. Y'all, look at these. My God. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching. Bye. Love you guys.